Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Kruv and today we're going to be going over another build that I've been playing with quite a bit in competitive PvP. And I, not gonna lie, I did win six games in a row using this build and I did get some top stats. So, you know what, carry? Question mark? Who knows? But without further ado, let's get into this core Mesmer build. Very, very strong. So first and foremost, let's go over my amulets and everything like that. So I'm taking the Demolisher amulet, which is power, precision, toughness, and ferocity. Rune of the Worm. I'm running Sigil of Energy and Sigil of Intelligence. Sigil of Purging and also, once again, Sigil of Energy because that dodge, that endurance is so good. It's so tasty. And for the build, I'm running Illusions dueling and domination for illusions i'm running shatterstorm and this is very useful i used to think that it was a really strange trait and kind of clunky but with a lot of clone up time and just getting an extra hit off i've had a lot of use out of this trait phantasmal haste and also master of fragmentation i'm taking phantasmal fury evasion mirror and also Superiority complex, also I meant to say evasive mirror. And then for domination, a lot of big damage. Bountiful blades, furious interruption, gain quickness when you interrupt. And of course, power block, nasty, nasty power block. So with all of these traits, if you are used to the traits in the game and more of a veteran, you might recognize that this is an interrupt focused build, fighting and damaging enemies who are crowd controlled and a lot of it bleeds into the utilities and weapons. So I'm running Sword and Focus, and it's really great because Temporal Curtain is wonderful. And Phantasmal Warden is also nice just for some extra projectile damage. And then for the Great Sword, Mind Stab is wonderful for the cripple, but that knockback on Illusionary Wave is wonderful. And if you can interrupt someone, you get access to Power Block and also the Quickness Uptime. And then Superiority Complex means you're doing more damage against disabled foes. So overall, things start stacking up quite nicely. I'm taking Signet of Ether. Heal yourself every time you summon an illusion, and then you can heal it and recharge them by 50%. Now, Mantra of Distraction. Let me tell you, Mantra of Distraction is absolutely fantastic for this build. Big interrupts, big chunky interrupts, vulnerability, damage if you get the power block, quickness. It is wonderful. I'm taking Mirror Images as my stun break, and it also helps generate extra clones if I need to quickly mind rack someone, or if I want to throw in a diversion here or there. It all depends, but yes, mirror images can't go wrong. And finally, for my utilities, Arcane Thievery. This is my only access to a Condi Clear and also Boon Stripping. So I want to point out that this could have some trouble fighting some condition builds. But Arcane Thievery is on a pretty decent cooldown of 25 seconds, so you should get ample use out of it. And then for my Elite, I'm taking Signet of Humility. Guys, I gotta say, MOA is a lot of fun. And on a core build, mowing people and then just bursting them down with a with a nice four to two to three and then spam one into a mine rack. It is, it's wonderful, you know? So I, I highly recommend Signet of Humility. So everyone, thank you so much for coming over to this build section. Now we're gonna hop over to the gameplay section and highlight and showcase some highlighted gameplay. So see you guys over there. Hello and welcome to this gameplay section where I'm going to be watching my gameplay and reacting to it kind of like retrospectively. Isn't that cool? Fair warning, this first segment is me having some difficulties and getting ganked and getting pressured quite hard. And I think that this is important to leave in because it highlights a build weakness. It highlights that if you're getting ganked by a revenant, a thief, you might have some challenging times. And considering this is PvP, it's perfectly fine to rely on your teammates as well to help you. Thankfully, they got it down. I'm really at this point scrambling. I'm trying to get a heal off. I'm trying to create some distance or something to where I can kind of reset my brain and my mentality. It just isn't happening. Uh, thankfully, I do manage to port away and get another res, but this thief was on me like melted butter on some t Texas toast. I don't know, analogies. Uh, but we get resed up and then thankfully I managed to eventually get some distance and reset and focus on a target. 
they are down, I'm just cleaving them a little bit to make sure they're low health, just so they don't get like rezzed up real easily. And now it's off to targeting this necro. I wanna typically focus necros just in case they have lich form and if they're power builds, they go down very easily. But then I see the ranger is very, very low and I'm like, ooh, rangers are also quit pretty squishy, especially if they're like a sickum or like a condi build. If you're dealing with a bruiser druid, you know, maybe go to another squishy target. They end up leaving, so uh, we got him really, really close, but then once again, another res. Uh, I promise after this, there are some better plays, but this early game, within the first couple seconds, it was, uh, it was a lot. So then uh, a little bit afterwards, we're getting just, just secure the kill on the fire brand, and next is the necro. So we're doing the great sword four into the great sword two, getting those interrupts where we can, really just trying to make it difficult for the enemy player to function in game. Interrupts, I gotta say, they're nasty and they're never fun to play against. Uh, and you know, yeah, but we did get a MOA. And I, this is a key instance of a MOA. It's really solid. You throw it in, it disrupts them. It freaks them out. Maybe they're like, oh, I have to change course. Here's a little solo of me doing, uh, it's actually a, a duo, but trying to shatter and just F1 on the Revenant. And you might have seen that the F1 can chunk them down pretty hard, especially if they're already disabled and, uh, you know, interrupted. And now we're just kind of meandering on back to mid. At this point, I could already feel the game was pretty set in stone. Uh, I started to gain my footing again and was able to focus targets. From here on out, it's mostly just a lot of showcasing of some, some spike build and some spike damage. This is also a nice interrupt showcase because you do have a lot of access to interrupts on your F3, on your Mantra of Distraction, and also just your Greatsword 5. You're able to interrupt them. Here, I solo this soul beast because I was like, oh, I know they're pretty squishy. Uh, but other than this, this build is really great from ranged. You want to pretty much stay at ranged as much as possible and stay out of people's focus. The mind stab on the great sword three is a great skill to use. If someone's trying to run away from you, it will apply cripple to them, making them much slower. We're just getting a, a final kill on the, on the revenant. And uh, I have used it in many situations where I have mind stabbed and they have been stalled enough for me to catch up, to use a temporal curtain to pull them back and then into sword three, which activated that again. It applies a mobilize and you can see how that goes into a, a snowball of just being uh, CC'd so much that you can just F1 shatter them like crazy. Here, just kind of auto attacking them. And the auto attack, might not seem like a really powerful thing to do, but with quickness and with extra might from your teammates and just general interrupts, it can be a very useful skill and very powerful skill if enemies just let it linger. Now I just wanted to stomp there even though we have the artifact, just the stomp sometimes is a little bit faster. Get some other kills here and there and getting another stomp. This build has been so much fun to play. I haven't played Mesmer in so long. And that is the match. Thank you everyone so much for coming by. I'm an official Arena partner with links down below where you can pre-order all the stuffs. Thanks guys. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.